Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> it's morning for me. Um, I wanted to come on here because the I feel like the Lord's giving me a warning on something, and um, I I think it's more like a call to prayer. So I've got two things that I want to call to prayer, and if you feel led to fast. Then I've heard fasting um, as a group is very effective in prayer. So one thing is personal that I want to ask you guys if you feel led to pray on, and then then I'll t- and then I'll do the warning right afterwards. Um, so you guys know I'm sick. <laughs> I've got a lot going on sickness wise and just like um I, I've been just attacked at literally every angle of my body possible <laughs> and just my life I feel like I've been going through a Job situation the Lord showed me I have been going through a Job situation that um that the scriptures in Job are literally being fulfilled in my life and I haven't made a video on it because it is. It's a. It would be. It's a really long video that I need to sit down and make, but I just haven't had the time. But um, I've I've never really met um any Christians that are like um how we got how we are on YouTube. You know, I haven't. Oh, sorry. I'm seeing like a baby snake on my driveway. Um, that's really strange, huh? <laughs> Get away from that. <laughs> okay, so um, let me just tell you all a story. This is how the Holy Spirit brought this to me. And I feel this is the only reason why um, I'm going to do this. But about a month ago, my sister in Christ gave me an email to this couple who prays over people and they get healed and um, there's been several people healed that she knows and um, and she's 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 pretty adamant that they get healed and so she was pushing me to contact them and at first I didn't feel led to and I didn't know why because I want healing and I'm praying for the Lord to send someone to use someone to heal me, or if he would let my, if it was time, you know, because I feel like the Lord will heal us, the Lord will give us that, but we have to, there's an appointed time for those things, and um, it's on his timing, you know, so I've been praying that it be his timing, and um, I didn't feel led to do it, and so she asked about it the next day, and I told her I didn't feel led, and I felt really bad telling her that. But it was the truth, you know. And so, a month has passed, and two nights ago, I was um, feeding my son at the table watching a Perry Stone video um, that I felt led to click on. And it was four things that will happen that he thinks will happen before the rapture. And um, one would... would one would be, we would escape the death angel. And I hope I've had this on a video, but the Lord spoke to me about the death angel and it being, and it coming around the timing of the buck moon. And spiritually and symbolically, it it has it is coming around the buck moon, right? But things take a little bit longer to happen than physical. Um, and so... I've been looking for something like that to happen or manifest. And um, also, the next thing would be um, a wealth transfer, money transfer, or assets. Just like things that the we will, would receive to um, take us on our journey in safety and in abundance. And then um, we, would, we would leave Babylon and um, come go as a group, right? And then there, before, right before we would leave, 
there would not be one feeble one among us, which means we would all be healed 100%. And the Lord had been speaking to me um, for a while about sevenfold miracles. And that sevenfold miracles were to begin soon. And that there would be a time period that we would do sevenfold miracles and, and, and it's going to bring on a revival so wow I'm getting the Holy Spirit at 736 and it's going to bring on revival like big time and um, I'm talking like massive revivals bigger than ever than there ever have been before just really big ones and um, so the Lord just spoke to me on that and I paused it when I heard him say healing I felt the Holy Spirit on me, and so I just felt the need to pray. So I started praying and asked the Lord to heal me. And I know it was guided, like the Lord wanted me to pray on healing. I know it. I just could tell. And so I prayed on it, and I got filled with the Holy Spirit all over. And it was amazing, and I was um, really surprised, you know. And so... My son had to get up, and I had to go change his diaper, to be honest. And then um, I came back to my phone about five minutes later, and my friend, Deb, she, um, she's she got a YouTube channel. Guys, check her out for dreams and visions. But, um, but she had messaged me twice um, saying, you haven't contacted them. Why haven't you contacted them? And... Um, and she's like, you need to contact them over and over. She said it. And I called her and I told her what had just happened. And um, she said that that morning she felt the leading of the Holy Spirit. And the reminder of the fact that I need to call or um, email these people. But then she got she was able to get the phone number. Okay, she got the phone number. Which... I don't know if you guys have commented, but you guys know I don't like using email. I will forget, okay? I will forget more than I would a text message, and I will forget a text message, too. I'm really bad about that. I don't respond to my husband half the time. I just, I don't know why. I've gotten to the point where I don't text anymore, and I don't mean to at all. It's just what happens. It's very strange. Um, <laughs> it has to do with... My memory, but also just, I feel like, I don't know, just been led that way. And, um, it's like now I feel such a need to be alone with the Father and to, like, focus and prepare. Like, I know the Lord's preparing us to leave. Um, and I'm not talking, like, just leave in the rapture. I'm talking to to leave our homes and and to, to come under as one accord. I know he is. I know he's um he's shown me that we are at the precipice, he said the word precipice to me. We are literally at the precipice of that. And um and it is those who are It is those that are um, focusing and and have drawn close to the Lord that he's going to use in that time. And I want to be used so bad, you know. I want to do all I can for the brethren and my family and for for God. And so I've been really drawing close to him. But what I'm saying is I'm going to tomorrow, which would be Monday... Um, let me see, it would be Monday, July, um, 13th, and I'm going to fast for a few days, even though you're not supposed to tell people about a fast, I know, but I think as a group fasting, they kind of need to know, you know, so I'm going to fast starting Monday until I can like hold out. Um, I can't ever go very long. (laughs) I think the longest I ever went was like a week. Um, (laughs) I love food. 
and it's just really hard so um I'm sure you guys understand too y'all all probably tried to fast but um yeah I just want to see if you guys would like to fast with me if not that's okay I just want some prayer on this if, if um we all if you feel led only you know but if you feel led um I want to pray for a few days and fast and um I actually did contact the people, and um, they said that the Holy Spirit felt led, and since I was led to them, then they do feel that they would pray over me, and so um, so that's all good on their front, and I've just got to text them this morning and let them know I want to fast for a couple days and um, pray, just because I've, I've really heard that doing that as a group or um especially in like something that's, that's kind of bigger uh, the lord like he commends that you know he wants that he wants you to do things as groups and as a whole and for each other and i think this is i don't know i feel like the lord is leading that a lot of people are about to be healed and that's never been a gift of mine. Really, my my type of prayer is just like talking to the Lord all day instead of like long soliloquy prayers. Mine's just talking with them, you know. And uh, it's nothing eloquent. <laughs> I promise you that. But um, yeah, if you feel led, please let me know in the comments down below this and we'll kind of like coordinate it so it'll start tomorrow and just however long I guess I can last on the fast um which is not going to be very long guys you don't have to fast very long even just a day um would probably be like great but just a prayer mainly please okay now the other thing I wanted to mention is first off, the Lord has given me a word yesterday, um, or a name actually, five times throughout the day. I couldn't remember the name. Okay, at first I received it, and I had I had heard an audible vision, and it's this one. Jeff got involved with her, and I knew after I typed it and after I came back to write something else. I knew it was Jeff Bezos. I haven't had the time to look that person up. I think, I know, I think I've heard that name before. So it's not like I've never heard that name before, but I don't know who he is. Um, but yeah, I guess Jeff Bezos. And I think that it's connected, you know, with this audible word I heard, which is Jeff got involved with her. And I don't know if this is true, but I feel like it's soon. That we would hear about this. I'm not really sure. Um, but the other thing. That I want to put out. And it's kind of on here. The Lord's been talking to me. About ships. Vessels. And. Um, and how we would be traveling. Cause not just staying in America. I hope you know that. Get ready to. Tour the world. Guys. But um. So the Lord's been talking to me about ships. But I've had two audible visions. And through these two audible visions, I've understand it, understood a few things. But I don't know if this is a boat or if it's just the place. But something's going to happen um, with the Pearl Harbor vessel, I think. Or it's a call to pray that this be changed into a good event or that this can be lessened the blow can be lessened you know the effect can be lessened so i heard satan speaking <laughs> this was audible vision i just knew that's who it was and then i heard a man speaking about the boat so i heard this man say you should take out the pearl harbor vessel <sighs> oh man i can't help it Yawning, you should take out the Pearl Harbor vessel. It would show that you have a lot of power. And Satan said, I don't think I could do that. 
It was like, that would be really hard to do. <laughs> I can't believe I heard him say that. But I knew 100% I had the understanding that was supposed to be Satan, okay? And he said, I don't think I could do that. That would be too hard, you know? And the other guy's like, and I could tell this guy emphatically, like, loves boats. Like, he really bad wanted to do this. He likes he likes this boat. He wants this boat for some, for some reason. Not really sure. And um, he's wanting Satan to use him to do this or something like that. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But that's what I'm, I feel like I got from the Spirit on that. But then I got it again, okay? So, but in a different way. And it connects back to another audible vision I had. Where I heard the word go. Go back to the beginning. To the older speech. From where people, how powerful would be able to keep the vessel. I couldn't understand what was said there. But I heard those words. And, um. I know it sounds jumbled up, but I think it's going to make sense when it happens. Because it always does. But, so somehow, this is connected to the vessel that I was um, talking about. But also, I had a um, audible vision on another paper, another page, that I had going at the same time. And, um, and it says, go back. Jeez, I can't stop on yawning. Go back. Go back to the older speech by Trump. And so, I'm not quite sure what that's about. And I don't know if it's about those ships, the Mercy. And, uh, like, Mercy checks out of the USA or whatever. But, um, but it's some, it has something to do with that. But I really feel... Like the Lord keeps telling me Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor vessel. And um, in, he has me praying about it. So I feel like something's going to happen there. <sighs> so sorry, guys. Um, it's like a yawning fit. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. I wanted to just uh, ask you guys to pray with me on those things. I feel like the Pearl Harbor thing is very, like, it's about to happen. Like, or the thought process to do it and and the action would be, like, now. And so we do need to pray for it to lessen the blow. But I also feel like we're about to see um, I don't know. I I think we're about to see... All the bugs that I was t- I was telling you about bugs, right? And I've mentioned the Lord told me there's these bugs. They're all messed up. Okay, we're about to start seeing all these messed up bugs. My mom, having no idea, she thinks she don't have the Holy Spirit yet, but she does. She wants it, I think, but she doesn't want to say it to me. You know, she's not like she's not open about that kind of stuff. She's really private, but um. But I can see it in her, and I can tell by the things that are happening in her life that um, that the Lord's, like, working in it made her. So my family has sent me two different pictures and video of, like, a spider. First off, bigger than my dad's hand. It was in their garage, and they're in Arkansas. And then um, this, like, wasp or bee, it was a mix between... A bee, like the body of a bee, and it has, th- oh wait, I have a picture. Um, uh, I hate to just go on my mom's text message, but, okay, look at that guys. Can you make sense of that? And that that's like, those are stingers, and they're not all on... My my brother caught this thing. They're not separate from the middle bug. It's, they're like, they look like a, someone took a jumbled up mess and attached them together like Frankenstein. 
and made them into a bug. And that's the, it's a bug. It's real. <laughs> it blew my brother's mind. Like, his boss paid him money to, to go catch that thing and to buy it from him. Because <laughs> he thinks he, like, made a discovery, you know. <laughs> I don't know how old that guy is, but... Or I'm thinking he thinks he made a discovery, right? But I know we're about to see a lot of these bugs. We are. And I don't know how fun that will be for others. Man, I really hope. Because, like, even we get affected by bugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do. It's not like they're Christians. Uh, don't get affected by bugs or mosquitoes. Because we do. So I pray that the Lord one day is just like, nope. No more. They won't be touched by a bug. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. Um, and just message down below if you do want to do the commenting um, or the, the praying with me and the fasting. So I'll talk to you guys later.